In this video, I will calibrate and test Keithley model 2000 6.5 digit multimeter. I will use HP3458A reference multimeter and Time Electronics 9823 calibrator. HP meter finished a cal procedure already and ready to use. All instruments will be controlled by Linux GPIB and a Python code on Raspberry Pi. Let's start here with quick DC voltage performance test. I have both HP and Keithley connected to calibrator output and will source 10 mV, 100 mV, 1 V, 10 V, 100 V and 1 kV to both meters and compare the reading. Each reading will be made five times and the average will be presented in the log file. Also, you can notice I implemented automatic correction for the calibrator output based on 3458A reference me measurement. This is very simple piece of code which will have DMM to take two readings first and then just apply the offset to calibrator output to get the perfect setting. It's not required for calibration purpose because model 2000 DMM can accept calibration values within 10% range. Also please excuse error 213 on Keithley DMM that's because of the programming issue and it doesn't affect actual reading. Few words about the Keithley meter itself. I got it broken from eBay and get repaired. So this will be just final performance check and calibration before I send it to another enthusiast for his future experiments. I had already performed initial calibration on model 2000, so you can see the values actually pretty close to my reference HP meter. And regarding the HP meter itself, I had it calibrated using LTZ1000 reference, which gets shipped from another calibrated meter. Cross checks with my two other Keithley 2002 meters showed agreement within 10 ppm between all three of them. Also for high voltage testing, I need to change the output terminals on time electronics calibrator. So now I'll switch output terminals to high voltage output. Also calibrator need few seconds time to ramp the high voltage. So I have 8 second delay before taking any measurements. And word and warning of course. Messing with these high voltages can be dangerous and cause injury, so don't touch any terminals if you are not sure that they are grounded. This calibrator able to supply high enough currents, so it's a dangerous tool if you don't know how to use one. Now voltage test done and we can proceed with testing current and resistance output on calibrator. For current and resistance I will only measure calibrator output using HP meter and then you will use measured values to use those values for model 2000 calibration. And here I will test through 
10 ohm, 100 ohm, 1 kilo ohm, 10 kilo ohm, 100 kilo ohm, 1 meg and 10 meg resistance ranges. Now it's time to start calibration procedure. The first step is calibration with the short. It takes a few minutes, so be patient and don't touch the meter during the calibration procedure. Next step is calibration with open when nothing is connected to meter. And then three steps for DC voltage calibration. So I'll connect 10 volt source to both HP and Keithley meter and use value from HP meter as a reference. Now I will switch to high voltage terminals and use 100 volt to source. This step finish quickly. And next step is to calibrate resistances using calibrator output and connect four terminals to Keithley DMM. This takes a few minutes, so I'll just show you what the steps are from the calibration manual for Keithley Model 2000. Very similar calibration procedures are also for 2001 and 2002 meters, just with different values. And now we need to switch terminals again for current calibration, which is 10 milliamp, 100 milliamp, and 1 amp DC. This just takes a minute or so, and we're almost done. Let's see the results. Here we have both 100 volt and 1000 volts using high voltage terminals. And now switch output to current and feed the same current through both meters, HP first and Keith the second. So in ideal case, both readings should match closely. Start with 100 microamps, then 1 milliamp, and then 10 milliamp, and 100 milliamp, also as well as 1 amp.
Now take a look on resistance measurements. And these are using four wire terminal connection. So I'll have to take readings first with KCDMM and then reconnect back to HP for cross check. Here we go. I change my camera position and We'll use HP meter to read the same resistors. Also, I did a separate test once more with the current capability. The lowest range available on model 2000 is 10 milliamp. But the resolution actually allows to measure and resolve currents down to 10 nanoamp, especially if using relative function. Also, a quick check on AC current. So, for this, I'll just source 100 milliamp. And here's the reading on HP meter, which have very good AC performance. Also 10 volt AC. At 60 Hz. And model 2000. Well, that's 10 volt, 60 Hz. And final check with 10 volt DC. Overall, I am pretty happy with the result. So here is the test data. And I hope you like this quick video. And if you like the format, please let me know and subscribe to my channel. Also, visit xdevs.com website for more information about various test instrumentation, repair and articles.